Hey guys, today I got a very exciting package and in that package was a letter which I am about to read to you. Congratulations Sprinklerino, you are now part of the most exclusive book club on the web, the Sprinklerino's Book Club. Please find enclosed a very special advanced and signed copy of Life with a Sprinkle of Glitter. Remember to share your thoughts on the book with the hashtag SprinkleBook. And let us know where you choose to review the book so that we can tell everyone else about it. Enjoy and keep an eye on your mailboxes for more goodies in the run up to the official publication on the 2nd of July. Happy reading. So of course the package was a signed advanced copy of Life with a Sprinkle of Glitter by Sprinkle of Glitter. I feel incredibly lucky to have got this so I thought I would do a video review for you. I've never done a video review which is strange because I'm a booktuber um, but we'll see how that goes and hopefully you enjoy it. I thought I'd put all the YouTube books I have in the background to make Life with a Sprinkle of Glitter feel at home but now I think that might have been a bit weird. Um, is, is that weird? Like I just, I just thought it would enjoy it you know. But then I remembered it's a book with no feelings, so, yeah. Over to you, Editing Amber, whether you want to keep this in or not. Now, Louise is my favourite vlogger, and I think she always has been right since I started watching YouTube, which was about late 2012, early 2013, I'd say. And obviously, when you watch people like you're watching me now, all you know about them is what they're putting out there into the video so you don't see what they edit out and they could be putting on an act for all you know by the way I'm not putting on an act just thought I'd put that out there um, and so from her videos I always thought Louise was kind down to earth humble funny um, and her videos always seem to be put out there with the intention of putting a bit more goodness into the world and trying to make her viewers feel better about themselves, which I always appreciated. And, you know, that's what I got from her videos, but obviously there was no way I could know if that's how she really was. But I think, even though I haven't met her, the book cements the idea that that's who she really is, that's how she is, and it's not an act, which I thought was really nice to read. Now this book is beautiful. Firstly, the glitter here, which you can see, is actual glitter that you can feel but for some reason it doesn't come off on my finger and I feel like it's really obvious why that doesn't happen but I don't know like it just doesn't come off I don't know how books are made I've been book blogging for like six years someone tell me why the glitter doesn't come off I don't get it I want to see a book be printed so I can understand someone hooked me up with that <laughs> um, but inside, the book is even prettier, honestly. Each page has a different design, it's so colourful, and honestly, the book reminds me of Pinterest, which I think Louise would be very happy to hear, because Pinterest is mentioned a lot in this book. Also, this is probably a bit weird, but I love the size of the book. Like, it's not massive, it's quite small, and it's a hardback without one of those paper jacket things, which I love. Like, do you ever get that feeling where you just hold a book and you think, yes, this is the perfect size for my hands? That probably is a bit weird, isn't it? But I like it, so we're winning already. I'll be honest, this book isn't completely what I was expecting. I was, I, for some reason, thought that this book would just be makeup, beauty, fashion. And I actually like that it wasn't just that. Um, it was more about body image, positivity, being kind to people, and just encouraging people to feel good within themselves and because even though this book can be enjoyed by any age because her audience is primarily teenagers like me I think that's especially important because that's kind of the age where you need to hear that kind of stuff most if that makes sense can you tell this is an unscripted video I'm just I literally finished this book about half an hour ago and I love it so much so I'm just kind of trying to process my thoughts as I film this video, which I guess is good because you're getting my completely honest opinion. This book is also funny. If you watch Louise's channel, you'll know that she gets herself into some fairly awkward situations, as we all do. And in here, there are a few more glimpses into the awkward side of her life, which were really funny, but also comforting because 
a lot of YouTube viewers, including myself, look up to the big YouTubers as celebrities. And so it's good to know that they're not always perfect and they don't always manage things perfectly and they don't always avoid awkward situations. And I think it's really good that this book didn't leave out the bad side of Louisa's life. Um, I don't know if bad is the right word, but um, what I mean is that I like how it didn't gloss over things and make things seem perfect and awesome when really she's just a person who experiences things that we all go through and I think that was a nice touch. I also love that Louise stayed true to herself. For example, her publishers wanted a chapter on baking and so Louise called the chapter anti-baking and made it all about how she can't cook and she filled it with hilarious anecdotes about her kitchen fails, which I completely relate to because twice now I have tried to fry eggs and instead I get flames, which isn't really what I want. I want food. So we're not cut out for it and I like that she didn't pretend to be this awesome chef who can cook anything at any time, you know? I think the main thing I like about this book is that it's honest and real. As I said, it doesn't ignore the not so good parts of her life, from bullying to what she gets up to in the kitchen. It's all in here and she doesn't try to make it all seem perfect when some of it just isn't, because life can't be perfect, can it? I'm going to wrap this up now, I feel like I haven't said enough about the book, but video reviews are really hard, I hadn't realised before. There will be a written review on my blog soon, and it'll be slightly different, uh, more coherent, and it will have photographs as well because I haven't really been able to show just how beautiful all of the pages are, so make sure you look out for that. And also, I know that some people are against YouTuber books and if you've read my blog or if you've watched a few of my videos, you'll know that I'm not one of them. I think the more books, the merrier and if there are books being brought out that get people reading who usually wouldn't pick up a book, then what's wrong with that, you know? Now, I think this is my favourite YouTuber book along with Girl Online by Zoe Sugg. Um, I don't know what it is about it. I think... She's my favourite vlogger and you can tell that a lot, a lot, a lot of work has been put into this book. Like, it hasn't just had money chucked at it and then it's just been made. Like, you can tell that a lot of effort has gone into this and that's really nice to see. Also, I'm sure all of you have been on Louise's channel, but if you haven't, you should definitely check it out. Because her videos are just casual, chatty, uplifting and they're all about positivity so if you're into that kind of thing you should go and check them out because no doubt you'll come away from it feeling very happy. Before I go I'd just like to say a big thank you to the publisher and Louise for sending me this signed copy. I just realised I haven't actually shown you the signed bit, it's here. I feel incredibly lucky to have got this before publication because I get books before publication all the time but when it's a book that you really, really wanted, and it's signed, then that's just a massive bonus, really, isn't it? Hopefully you pick up a copy yourself when it's out in the UK on the 2nd of July, and let me know what you think of it if you do get a copy, because I would love to know. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment your thoughts on the book below, and I will see you very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.